I'm going to show you how to attach a newel post to the bottom of a staircase. Now I do have a video on this already and it's quite popular on my channel and but there's a few little uh, improvements I've made on this uh, process particularly in the laying out of the whole situation. So I've got a couple of pieces of stair tread on the stairs and a straight board sitting on those nosings so I can mark the rake of the stairs. In my previous video I laid the, the stick on the nosings of the, of the stair treads and that marked the story pole like so. Now one of my viewers who's really paying attention pointed out to me that if I mark like this but then I install the post so that the post laps onto the stair uh, case by an inch and a half, then the rake line should actually be marked at the front of the post. And his name is Stephen Williams. Thank you very much, Stephen, for pointing that out. And that is a very accurate assessment that that is the, the true rake line on the post. Because as you go across the post, as you can see here, the rake line gets lower as you go. So that's what I've uh, adapted. So in this case, now that I have my true rake line uh, established here on this uh, story pole that's cut like the new old post will be, then I can use my burn one tape measure and measure from that line up 36 inches and that will be the top of my railing. And the post will actually be another two and a half inches higher to give a reveal on, the, on this side of the post but that will be the top of my railing. If you look over here, you'll see that that is the rake line or at the top of the stairs. And although I don't have a story pole in place, I have shot this with a laser level and know that 36 inches up from that rake line, I will have enough post to make my uh, connection at the top of the stairs. All right, so I've got my post on my workbench and this is the two and a half inch reveal line right there. I've got the top of the story pole or the mark where the railing top is gonna be is right there. I've got that lined up on my reveal mark. <clears throat> if I go down here, this will be where I notch the post for the for the stair stringer and that will fit over top of the plywood stringer right here and this is uh, the point or the place where I'll cut the post off right there so this should be a foolproof way to uh, do this whole operation of uh, notching the post This is why a story pole is so important because you can see I've got my tape measure on the end of the post and if I swing down to where I'm going to cut the post off right here you can see that it's going to end up being 48 and a half or 5 eighths and the factory post is from the supplier only 47 inches long so unfortunately I have to use a longer post and I suppose if you were doing this uh, you could just cheat on your reveal a little bit, but I don't like to do that and it's going to put everything uh, Make it look different than all the rest. So I'm going to stick with it for a few extra dollars. I'll use a longer post All right, so <clears throat> this is the face of my post that's going to uh, be on the left side of the staircase as I'm looking at the bottom of the staircase. So this is the nicest green pattern. I'm going to have that facing um, as you go up the stairs. So what I've done is I've determined the center of the post here. The post is 3 and 7 sixteenths wide. That's the center. And then I've just marked down here so I kind of make a mental note 
of what portion of this post I want to notch out because that can be confusing. Then I'm just going to flip that over. This is where I'm going to make my notch. Again, I've marked the center of the post. Then what I've done is centered a 1 and 7 16 stringer on that center mark. So there is half of the stringer on each side of this mark. And as that turns out to be about 2 and 7 16. You can see here where I've got it marked. So now what I'll do, I want to make an inch and a half deep notch. So I've got my square set an inch and a half. And I'll just make some lines here. Continue those lines across. Then I'll continue the lines up this way all the way to the top of my notch up here. And that's that point there is the top of the stair tread at the first, uh, first riser right there. So this whole portion will be notched out. So that is the depth of my notch. All this will be removed. So there, there's my, my whole notch mapped out on my newel post. And when I'm done, I'll have two inches of solid oak through which to put my leg bolts or leg screws into the stair stringer and secure it. So if you've worked on stairs at uh, any point, you'll know that risers are not often perfectly plumb. But this can be corrected with the next step, which is to make an inch and a half notch on the stringer. So now I'll just mark inch and a half back for that notch. and make a real nice line. Clean line there and a clean line here. Take that out. And we'll be able to cut the post and attach it. So what I've done here is I've cut my notch in the stairs first and that is something you should always do uh, because you can always custom cut the, the, the post. So I've realized that I'm going to need an inch and nine sixteenths for the depth on my uh, pocket here on the, on the post. So I've got that marked out, I'll cut that and then we'll see how it fits. All 
All right, so I got my two cuts made. Now I'll have to take the uh, multi-tool and a, a chisel and pry that chunk out. So that notch is complete. I'll just clean it up a little bit with this chisel and then we'll go try it out. All right, so I'm gonna do some fine adjustments, but that is pretty good. Pretty happy with that. On this side here, I will just tighten up the top screw a little more and that'll pull the post into plumb. I had to do a little bit of chiseling and shaping just to get it really nice. But the most important thing is it's gonna fit real solid onto the staircase. And there's a big thunderstorm coming. I gotta put my tools away. Yeah, I've just marked here and here. And that's where I'm gonna put my lag screws, U2 lag screws, in from the front of the post into the stair stringer. So what I'll do is I'll just take those marks and with a square move them over to the front and I'll start uh, augering out my holes. I'll start with a three-quarter Forstner bit and then taper down to a quarter inch and and put it back in place and put pilot holes into the stair stringer and we should have a real good fit. It's really important to check these pilot holes to make sure you're dead center on the stringer. You don't want your lag screws breaching the side of the stringer and making a mess. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I have done another video like this as I mentioned, but this one is a little leaner and a few new techniques and no music. Uh, thanks for uh, watching and supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'll answer any questions you have and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.